To mount the cameras to a wall, we'll need to be able to feed the pigtail of the camera through. We chose a one and a quarter inch hold saw to make a large enough hole to feed it through easily. After drilling the hole for the pigtail, we place the camera on the wall and mark the position for the pilot holes for the mounting screws. With the spots marked, we drilled holes that are slightly smaller than the screws that we used. After drilling, we ran the cable needed and fed it through the hole we made, then plugged the camera into it. With this accomplished, we mounted the camera using the appropriate mounting screws for the job. Using a screwdriver, we pointed the camera after it was mounted, then tightened the screw on the side of the camera to lock it in place. Some cameras have the PoE module on the pigtail externally. Make sure that you are drilling the holes large enough to feed the pigtail through. This one measures one inch at the longest point, so my one and one quarter inch hole saw will do the trick for me. Disassemble the camera's housing by unscrewing the collar by turning it counterclockwise, leaving the camera in four pieces. What we're after is the piece with the mounting holes. Using a one and a quarter inch hole saw, we cut out an area of the wall that will allow us to feed the pigtail of the camera through it. Then using the base of the camera, we mark spots for the pilot holes to be drilled. We drilled the pilot holes for our screws with a 1 8 inch drill bit. Your size may differ depending on the screws that you use. Mount the base to the wall using the appropriate screws for the job. Make sure to screw down at all the points. We forgot to feed the cable here first. Uh, you'll need to do that after the base is mounted so you can connect your camera to the network or PoE port. After that, feed the pigtail through the newly drilled hole and position the camera to a point where you want to be monitoring. While bench testing the camera, we noted at what position the image would be upright and placed the camera appropriately. When you're finished with that, attach the sleeve and collar. Use the divot on the sleeve to make sure that you don't have IR bouncing back at the camera. This could cause issues at night. Once you have the camera properly aimed, make sure that the collar is tight and the job is complete.